<laughs> That's cute. Yeah, CP awareness, right? This green, it's a green ribbon, Miles. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clap to sync these. That's a Miles time. Perfect. And action. Oh. Yeah. You're synced up. Go for it. All right, hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am here with a dear friend of mine, Miles. Say hi, Miles. Hi, Miles. Hey, Miles. Thank you so much for joining me today. You guys have watched my YouTube channel. I've never done an interview before, um, but Miles was kind enough to let me be able to have a conversation with him. First one. <laughs> He's the first one. And he is much more experienced in interviews than I am. You go ahead, you go ahead, you go ahead. Oh, thank you, thank you. you can, if I'm doing anything wrong, I want you to let me know. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Um, so I've been excited because I've been able to get to know Miles for a couple years now and he's been a complete inspiration to me and he makes me laugh like constantly <laughs> and the reason he's here today is CP Awareness Month. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I got that right. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay, good. Yeah. It's CP Awareness Month and my YouTube channel is all about fitness and emotional health and wellness and Miles gave me an opportunity to interview him and ask him a couple questions about CP and we're gonna talk a lot about the things that I love to talk about yeah. which is fitness, mental health, yeah. faith and it's just you guys are gonna get to hear part of our conversation today. So Miles, you are like famous. I say that to you all the time. <laughs> Miles is one of the most famous uh, athletes that I know, right? What are you known for Miles? Uh, I'm known for um, speaking in my religion, mm -hmm. uh, I've become known on just me days for um, my deadlift. Yes, I was there for that. Sorry about deadlift. That was incredible. I got crazy. Yeah, I mean, I've been known to uh, go to the auto, been invited by other Schwarzenegger. Incredible. Um, that was about, what, two or three years ago we were there together. Oh, yeah, three. Three years ago, yeah. Yeah. You, you deadlifted, what did you deadlift there? I was deadlifted in like 185. That's insane. Yeah. That is insane. I had a front row seat, yeah. so that was one of the yeah. most, the coolest moments of my life. Yeah. The, the second coolest moment was eating tacos with you afterwards. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really wanted yeah. a taco. That place was yeah, amazing. Yeah, it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah, it was good. Um, Miles, tell us a little bit yeah. about yourself. Yeah. Oh, so, a little about me, um, maybe, maybe. Uh, I have two or three of all of these. There's a condition that affects my motor school. So, and I never didn't know, people may not know that I'm here. I'm also adopted from, from Vietnam. I was adopted at the age of one. And I came to America. And I've been very blessed by other people that I've gotten to know here. And yeah, I just couldn't be more grateful. Mm. I love your heart, Miles. I love whenever I talk to you, you're always talking about being grateful. Mm. And that's something that constantly inspires me. So you were adopted from Vietnam yeah. at one. Yeah. And you have CP and you have a lot of other parts to your story. We'll get into that yeah. another time that I'm blown away by. But tell us a little bit about what should the average person know about someone who has a condition of CP? Oh, uh, so I mean, that people I want people to know is like the most people see me that you have a moon to see how I talk. And they are automatically jump to the inclusion that I have a mental disability. Okay. So, and, uh, and that's one of the biggest things I want to go to people with. Like, keeping it a physical disability. There's so many effects, my mother still, and there are so many different types of CP. Like CP that affects the lower extremity, mm -hmm. the arms, sometimes it can be the lower ones or the body. Um, but yeah, it's the lower one now when you go to people. Like, it's a physical disability. A, a, a physical disability, not a mental disability. And it's really helpful for me to know as a counselor, I use that word mental health all the time. And so today we're going to be talking about 
you know, emotional health, physical health, and I'm really grateful that you brought that up because yeah. sometimes when we look at somebody, we assume things about them without even getting to know them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's the worst. Sure. That's, we assume things about people, we don't even know them, we haven't even asked them questions. So yeah. I appreciate you being willing to talk about yeah. this today. Of course. So I got to know you because you showed up at my gym one day yeah. for say athletics with one of our friends, Nikolai, yeah. and you just started like lifting stuff up and it was incredible to watch you grow. So tell me a little bit about how like physical fitness has helped you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I come to on my page. Good day. Because I've been to me so much. That's probably like my stability. Your stability. And just my confidence. Confidence. And like my dignity. Wow. So like, 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 all I'm going to do is huge. I don't know. Like, by the neck. Like, 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 that goes into my day to day life. Wow. Like breathing, like trying to like, be stable with like uh, a pile of water. Yeah. It's time to take that water. Like before, before lifting, that was amazing. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. just lifting, you're able to take what you learned in the gym yeah. with stability, breathing and bracing, working on coordination, and yeah. you take all of that yeah. and you put it in your day to day life. Yeah. Not to mention the level of confidence. I mean, you carry yourself nice and strong. You know, you got some nice muscles too. <laughs> I wish. I wish. <laughs> you do! Um, that's really amazing to hear because I feel like some people would never have even tried. Now, have you always had fitness in your life or is this a, a brand new thing that you started doing? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fitness. Like, everything I was doing, I've always enjoyed being at home. Of course. But I was. Just doing normal kid things. Um, so I would say it took me long ways to develop a muscle and to get to get, get TP and like being really in the orphanage while I didn't notice. Wow. It just took me a lot a little bit longer to develop my muscles to I was able to walk and then it eventually ran. Wow. And then eventually like catch football. It's incredible to see your progression. Like you, you said it's like building a skill yeah. and, and being faithful with yeah. that over time. Yeah. And now look how strong you are. It's incredible to see. Yeah, it's just all about persistence. And, yeah, just persistence and determination. Persistence and determination. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're incredible, man. You really have yeah. totally inspired me yeah. so much. And one of the things, so you know I'm a counselor. Yeah. And I, like every day, all I'm talking about is yeah. emotional health and wellness. Sure. And one of the things that I learned about you and that I've learned from just working with people is that you can actually change your brain. Yeah. You can actually help yourself be emotionally more healthy by helping your brain be healthy. And I feel like you've done that yeah. being so active. Yeah. You've helped your brain grow. And you, you know, you told me that CP affects coordination, is that yeah. correct? Yeah, my motor skills. Your motor skills. So do you feel like physical fitness has helped like, begin to correct some of the motor skills or help the motor skills? I wouldn't do it correcting it, improvement. Definitely making big improvements, that's yeah. awesome. Um, one second. All right. Cut. Cuts. Okay, Mom. So I really wanted to ask you this question today, and I feel like I'm super excited to hear your answers. What has been helpful to your emotional health on your journey? That's a deep question. I know. We'll talk more later. But like, what are some things that have helped you? You're so hopeful. You're so grateful. You're so like you have this perseverance that I've never seen before. What has helped you stay so emotionally well, uh, despite so many difficult things? Um. And I have to give credit to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is everything. Yes. He's the Lord of everything. Yes. So like, to tell that foundation mm -hmm. and the rock mm -hmm. is something that I can always rely on. Yeah. And you never persuade. And, uh, and like, also, uh, my uh, my community, mm -hmm. my community, that's one of the biggest things I was looking for. 